Hello, I am Andy Pomerantz, Technical Services Manager of Philadelphia Gear. In this video, we are going to discuss checking tooth contact, how it's performed, and its importance. The first step is to have the gear elements as clean and oil-free as possible. That way you'll get a valid check. The next step is to have the proper tools of the trade. For your initial tooth contact check, you need a, a Prussian blue compound. You need a gear marking compound, which can be found online by searching under that term. You need two paint paintbrushes. And finally, when you're done with your, your initial check, you need some layout blue where you clean off the gears and put a, a layer of the layout blue on. That allows you to look at your loaded tooth contact pattern at the time of next outage. Please note that I'm wearing rubber gloves. It's important to understand that Prussian blue, once it gets on you or your clothes, it's very difficult to get out and you can track it wherever you go. So I'm gonna first apply the blue compound onto the pinion teeth. You put a very thin layer. And if you see it going on too thick, what you do is you take some of it off the brush and keep spreading. And you wanna do a series of teeth. You wanna do both sides and just keep thinning it out And that's a pretty good pattern. Then we're going to apply a layer onto the, onto the gear. Same, same principle. You may want to do a, a wider section of teeth on the gear. And maybe even do two areas 180 degrees if you have room to do that. Make sure you have complete coverage, but again, thin. Thinner is better. Then we would do as the next step is rotate, rotate the pinion, and the pattern from the blue will show up on the L. And we'll do that inside the gearbox. So we have gone ahead and applied the gear marking compound using the same techniques that we demonstrated on the scaled down gear set on the bench. We performed a contact check by rotating the gears and as you can see the results are quite satisfactory.